what no one in this room wants to admit is that Trump has helped all of you. He couldn't sell steaks or vodka or water or college or ties or Eric. <laughs> but he has helped you. He's helped you sell your papers and your books and your TV. You helped create this monster and now you're profiting off of him. And if you're gonna profit off of Trump, you should at least give him some money because he doesn't have any. <laughs> Trump is so broke, he grabs pussies because he thinks there might be loose change in them. All right, like an immigrant who was brought here by his parents and didn't do anything wrong, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Welcome Just to Walmart, quick, folks. Super quick. Fake Let me tell warning. you, we've got the, the best deals, the biggest speaking, discounts, believe me. Real. It is a Aisle fake three, winner. tremendous savings Australia. on electronics, folks. Aisle seven, you won't believe the deals on home goods. Really fantastic. And aisle 10, where we have the best groceries. If you need anything, just ask. We're here to make Walmart great again. Have a tremendous shopping experience, folks. Uh, it's not just Ronan McDaniel who is part of the new uh, NBC lineup. Uh, they've also told us who their new civil rights uh, correspondent is going to be. And uh, here's another face. Uh, this person's going to be brought on especially to do with health and beauty expert, uh, predominantly in the facial region. Uh, and then domestic violence is uh, a big part. Their new uh, domestic violence correspondent is going to be uh, this guy. And uh, alleged abuses and all sorts of uh, bad practices at work. They now have a special correspondent who will be dealing with any allegations as they surface. Oh, no, no, that shit can always be recovered. We gotta smash your laptop with a hammer. Ronan McDaniel Romney is having a very busy Saturday uh, deleting all of her past history on Twitter. I don't think she really understands how the internet works. Once you put it out there, it's a little bit difficult to get it back. All while that was going on, we were writing responsive briefs. We were still doing the case in the way that it needed to be done. Um, I don't feel like we've been slowed down at all. Um, I do think that there are efforts to slow down this train, but the train is coming. Republican Congressman Lauren Boebert is once again taking credit for federal funding for Colorado projects that Boebert actually voted against. Boebert's office sent out a news release bragging about her role in securing funding for projects like highway safety improvements and water reservoir construction in southern Colorado. Boebert requested that funding through the earmark process, which is when members of Congress add local projects to bigger spending bills. In this case, Boebert's earmarks were part of the government spending bill that passed in early March. Boebert is one of 40 Republicans who obtained earmarks and then voted against the bill. She was out calling it, quote, swamp omnibus bill and said that it funded Democratic priorities. I'm tired of the separation of church and state. Okay. Says, You're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said, no, 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 other than day one. As my first order of business, I hereby declare martial law. Citizens of the New America, here are today's announcements. Supreme Leader Donald Trump proclaims the 4th of July will no longer be celebrated as Independence Day. Yeah! In honor of our 2021 patriots, January 6th will now be recognized as our great nation's birthday. All citizens are required to participate in quadrant festivities. Failure to do so will be met with harsh punishment and immediate incarceration in your local detention camp. I'm tired of this separation of church and state junk. A government of the people, by the people. I'm tired of this separation of church and state. And for the people. There it is, from a U.S. flag service. Let's remember who we are. We're the United States of America. It's Monday morning, I'm actually in the garage, and um, I just had a thought about something. So over the weekend, former guy Dan Perdomo was going on about uh, that bath and all of that stuff. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole... That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. And it just made me think that the Dems have really got to step up their game and call out things they see that do not appear to be normal. Lauren Bobert clearly fits into that category as far as I can see. Maybe you think different. Maybe you think Lauren Bobert is one of the best representatives ever. Or should we be taking a closer look at Lauren Boebert? Lauren Boebert is the loneliest member of the 435 members of Congress. 
No one wants to hang out with her. This was not the job she was promised when she started running for Congress, probably as a joke. And now here she is, the only connection she has to humanity is that the uglier she is, the more her audience will like it. She's also by far the dumbest member out of all of them. If you had the opportunity right now for Lauren Bobert to take one of those extended holidays where you wouldn't hear from her for a long time, would you say yes? Would you put Lauren Bobert as one of the worst representatives ever? Press the like button. Uh, but let's, let's take opinion to extreme. Okay? If, if you had to tick a box that said, Right now, for Lauren Bobert to leave politics, would you vote yes? I need God by my side each and every day to accomplish the reboot of the, the dating game. Yeah. <laughs> <I know. laughs> new NBC uh, host, a new lineup. Well, the, uh, their official gun safety person has now been announced. And it's AI generated. Here's a portion. So first of all, it is AI generated. So we're sharing that that upfront ethically. So it's not a deep fake. And President Trump never shies away from a debate. Uh, and he yes, did he very does. well on debate. They did he, 2020. He, he, Ronnie, he does. He, he skipped hours. He skipped hours in 2016. <laughs>when I came out of that bathroom and Trump was there in his underwear, you know, so entitled. I remember thinking, oh fuck, how did I get myself into this? I felt that I had been misled and tricked and I, I can't even find the words, but I thought we had this mutual respect. You know, I've maintained it, it wasn't rape in any fashion, like, you know, but I didn't say no because I just, I was nine years old again. And the last thing I remember was like, I could totally take him if I want to scream or fight, but like, I'm not supposed to act like that. There's that whole dynamic because I was from the South that he was an elder and a man and I was taught to show respect and be a good girl. Because that yeah. Wall Street Republican, if you actually look at Joe Biden policies, they should be stoked about yeah. it, right? Look all, look, I mean, we have a very strong economy given where we came from. In the year look at the infrastructure, look at all that he's done. Yeah. But why do they pull back? Because this idea that they have, that he's super liberal, which he's not. And the reason they have this idea is because when they got into investment banking, when I did, those investment banks only recruited from four colleges and they were and they were Ivy League universities and they didn't have any DEI initiatives and they loved to hire lacrosse players and football players right. and sons of people that went to really expensive boarding schools. And that mm -hmm. is why that group of Wall Street people think that Joe Biden is super liberal because their son named Chad in a Patagonia vest isn't <laughs> automatically getting into Princeton and gets to be in Eddie's class. That's why they feel that way. I think well, you'll probably still get in though. Like, I, probably. Yeah, but I, I got Maybe. it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what happened in house yesterday was actually an attack on our entire republic that's the way i see it this is going to going to continue to lead us closer and closer to the end of america as we know it and potentially steve leading into world war three if you were part of a union or working class people who were allowed to build a better life in the middle class in america you fucking listen to us because if you're out there buying those fucking hats, you got that one right <laughs> Yes, I did. Oh, that's a good one. These swindlers are selling at that fucking fair. I'm sorry, kids. I know there's kids here. <laughs> then you're part of the problem, and I'll tell you why. Because you're being duped. In a billion dollars. I mean, they don't exactly make investments with crackheads. That's not part of their business model, Steve, of course, unless you're buying someone off, which is, of course, what was happening. You have clear evidence and they keep pretending they don't have it. It's lunacy. And yet for five years, Russia, Russia, Russia was the gospel. That was the gospel of the Lord. There was no evidence, but it didn't matter. You didn't need anything. We were somehow amazingly enough compromised uh, by Russia. Apparently my but father needed the money or something like that. I'm not sure. In the history it of the world. You're being duped by a bunch of grifters and billionaires who don't give a shit about you or your family. Crime of fraud. Yourself a patriot and you're spouting off that election denying shit. I will fuck.
fight your ass outside if you want to.